everyone, welcome to Beauty Busters here on Guru Hub. I'm Annalie Bell and today we are trying a brand new product, something I've never ever even attempted and that is the Apple Lip Plumper. Initially, I was gonna put this on another channel, but after seeing how interesting it was and how much fun I had trying it, I decided it was better to put it here and have a little teachable moment for everybody. When I opened my box from Amazon and pulled this out, I'm not gonna lie, I'm rather disgusted. The packaging is really gross and I hope you can see that. It looks like it's been used, so I'm just gonna take this out. The apple itself looks really clean. Learn to not drip saliva into your pump. Leave the lip pump in place for two minutes. This actually only lasts for one and a half to two hours. So I guess if you wanted to keep them big all day, this would just be an extra thing that you'd have to carry around. I'm gonna say already that's a negative for me. I can't even commit to wearing lipstick that I have to reapply new think here. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna squeeze really easily. Here goes. Or, or not. <laughs> I feel like I suck at this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Gross. So I definitely see why it says to make sure that you don't spit. Well, my foundation is completely jacked up. I don't think my lips are any bigger. It hurt. Your lips get sucked in and I could feel them kind of like do that number. I felt like my lip was bruising when I was trying to suck the spit back into my mouth because I could feel it coming out. I kind of sucked it in, but then that sucked more air in and made this tighter. You know what? I'm gonna try it again. Mm. Mm. Oh, I couldn't do it anymore. That hurt so bad. Oh, I'm bruised. Do you see this? The Lip Plumper Apple is a fail. I'm gonna fix my foundation. I am able to cover the bruises. And I wanna show you a way that you can actually make your lips look bigger without having to use these crazy contraptions. My lips are definitely a little more purple than normal. So what you're gonna to wanna to do if you want to overdraw your lips, regardless of if you're gonna go red, pink, nude, find a lip pencil that is the same color as your lips. For MAC, I would say Dervish, Subculture and Sublime Culture are really good options. Um, those are the ones that I've been using since I worked at MAC like nine years ago. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Dervish. You wanna find your natural lip line and then to overdraw, go just outside of your natural lip line or a lot outside depending on how big you want your lips. You wanna stick with your natural lip shape. That way you have less noticeable parts that are overdrawn. First, I'm gonna go through and outline my actual lip line. That way I have a really clear view of where my lip line is. So once you have your lips outlined, go in and fill your whole lip in with the lip pencil. Now that you have your whole lip done, focus on the areas that you want to fill in. And I would say when you're first starting out, try not to go too big. Right now it's really trendy to not have Cupid's bow. To get rid of that, start going a little bit higher in the dip and fill that in. Oh, what Cupid's bow? It's gone. So the whole point of using a lip pencil that's the same color as your lips is to give that impression that's actually your lips underneath the lipstick. If you are overdrawing your lips, I would definitely recommend not wearing gloss because gloss is not only going to spread out and feather, it's gonna break down all the products underneath it. If you wanna make the bottom lip more plump, go right around your lip line. And there you have it. I pretty much got my lips done without getting my lips done. <laughs> so as you can see, the Apple Lip Plumper was a fail and I'm not even gonna give it an entire star. It's gonna get a half a star because it literally damaged my lip. 0.5 stars. I was completely disappointed with it. I hated it. It was not easy to use. It was messy. I felt disgusting. I had slobber all over my face. As you saw, there was slobber inside the device. It's just, gross. It's a lot easier to just overdraw your lips rather than use this ridiculous contraption. So I hope those tips help you out. I'm glad that I was able to try before you buy because this thing sucks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll catch you here in the next Beauty Busters on Guru Hub.